ended its 27-year career Wednesday with a smooth touchdown under clear skies. And nose gear touchdown in the end of a historic journey. And to the ship that has led the way time and time again, we say farewell, Discovery. Soon after landing, NASA officials, including Administrator Charles Bolden and Kennedy Space Center Director Bob Cabana, thanked Discovery's six-member crew. If my numbers are correct, it's the 39th flight on, on Discovery. Uh, Discovery has a very special place for me and for Bob Cabana over here because we both had an opportunity to fly on it twice, and um, so this is very bittersweet for all of us. Discovery is the fleet's longest-serving shuttle. It is in the same condition after its final landing as it was after its first blast-off, said Mission Commander Steve Lindsay. And if you think about a vehicle that's 26, 27 years old, been flying for that long, to come back perfect, I have never seen an airplane be able to do that. NASA is retiring its shuttle fleet this year, marking the end of an era. Charlie mentioned it's a pretty bittersweet moment for all of us. It's uh, as the minutes passed, I'm getting actually getting sadder and sadder about this being the last flight. And I know, I know all the folks involved in the shuttle program feel the same way. For its final mission, Discovery delivered Robonaut 2, a human-like robot, to the International Space Station. The space station crew and the shuttle crew reconfigured the space lab so more research can be conducted there. Okay. Speaking at a news conference after the landing, NASA's Bill Gerstenmaier commended the shuttle crew and Discovery itself. I think its legacy will be the future. If you take a look at what this crew did, the extra two days on orbit, they really got Space Station in a great configuration. They did a ton of extra work on board Space Station, and that was really only possible because the vehicle did such a great job. Discovery will retire to a museum after logging 238 million kilometers in space during its high-flying career. Suzanne Presto, VOA News. Discovery was the first shuttle to ever do this maneuver. Back to